<laughs> Hello, my friends. Here are three big stories in about three minutes. The first is a follow-up to an earlier breaking news. We still don't know anything about this jet with Sevastopol. This isn't the first of three stories. This is just free. Uh, Pravda was uh, patently unhelpful, and there wasn't really much even in regular news. If you Google it, you won't find out whether it was friendly fire or whether it was shot down. Okay, first of the big stories. Only 3% of missiles, drones, and guided bombs fired by Russia at Ukraine hit military targets. That is 97% of what Russia fires at Ukraine is not hitting military targets. How the world is not just up in arms about this, I just, I can't understand. Okay, second story. Democrats see rescuing Speaker Johnson as the best bet for Ukraine aid. The entire article here talks about how um, it, the best thing that they could do is move forward by per supporting Speaker Johnson. But Speaker Johnson knows that and if he does move on Ukraine aid, then all bets are off on Democrats' support of Speaker Johnson. And so what Marjorie Taylor Greene could do by holding this measure over him, he, they can do to him immediately thereafter, and then the Democrats don't necessarily need to support him. And so it's kind of a catch-22 all the way around. It's actually an unbelievably bad place for the Speaker to be third story, and I'm going to dwell on this after this little, little uh, email or tweet. Uh, Jake Bro put out, every Democrat needs to sign the discharge petition to allow a vote. I absolutely agree. If everyone, every Democrat does, and then some Republicans pile in, and it doesn't need to be that many, uh, I added to it. And if they do, we only need a handful of Republicans who support Ukraine to make this happen. And I know that there are enough of them out there. Let's go, Congress. Okay, we can get to this one way or another. I don't think that that necessarily has to be the way, but it could be the way. Okay, last uh, issue. RFK Jr. named his at uh, uh, attorney Nicole Shanahan as his VP pick. I have no idea who Nicole Shanahan is, but RFK Jr. could potentially peel off some votes for Biden, and that could be bad. But on the other side, a Texas man running for president under the name of literally anybody else is actually running for president in Texas. Now, this is actually a fascinating thing. He changed his name to literally anybody else. Okay, so a Texas man is hoping to uh, a legal name change and a long shot presidential bid will get his argument across that some voters want literally anybody else but former President Trump or President Biden to serve another White House term. This teacher, an Army veteran in North Richland, Texas, formerly named Dustin Elby. Remember, he legally changed his name to literally anybody else. Could be on the ballot in Texas as literally anybody else. It's pretty funny, but it's actually not just funny. Look at this. Texas has 38 electoral college votes. And if Texas, because... People are just disgusted, vote for literally anybody else. That could have as much of an effect on the election as RFK Jr. might have as spoiling for Biden. This could have a spoiling effect for Trump. Okay, that's it. Those are three big stories in about three minutes. Thank you for your time, the likes, the shares, the subscribes, and thank you for being the kind of person that cares about Ukraine.